Oh, uh, well, this is a member of the voice of reason coming at you. And the best possible way I can tell you is people always ask me, you know, how do you plan on, how do you, how does your people plan on regaining what they once had back? There are lots of ways we can. There's violence, war. That hasn't worked for us. Personally, if I could avoid the stain of violence, I would definitely I'll take it. I'll take any other any other resort to picking up a weapon and, and going to war. War is inevitable. It's in man's nature to sit there and destroy one another. However, um, it's in the Creator's way for us not to do that. He would rather it's not, but he's not going to interfere with free will. But, okay, but, it, but war does teach us this stuff. However, um, the violent approach is never is hardly ever going to work. It only works as a last resort. But you want to you want to know the real way that the native people regain what we regain and win back what we once had. We gain it back one non-native at a time. Because out there, out there in the out there in the world. The non-native world, the white man's world, or whatever you want to call it, even not even even existing in the same land, we, we we operate in two different worlds. This is the native world. This is the non-native world. The non-native world is falling apart at the seams. It's falling apart at the seams every single day. And you win, you win, um, you win back this country one non-native at a time. If someone's, if the white man's world has failed the non-native or a half-blood, then and then in the Native American world, you treat them a lot better. You treat them like kings and queens. You show them that we are, that you're better than that. You don't fail them. Giving someone food in their belly, a husband or a wife to be happy with, a sense of purpose and a sense of dignity, and a general sense of happiness and an identity will always, you'll always gain their loyalty 110%. We have to alter our perspective. You see, disease comes in all forms. Hundreds of years of being mistreated has made us spiritually diseased. To cure that spiritual that spiritual disease, we need to recognize within our, within ourselves the fallacies of um, of, our, um, of what our culture has become. But at the same time, the only real way to um, overcome that is to not make the same mistakes that we that we um, that we made before. I'm a half blood native, and the white man's world failed me. It failed me hilariously. When I was 11 years old, I met John Trudell. He said, nothing happens by chance. Everything happens by design. What you're searching for, you've already found. You just made the mistake of meeting me 30 years too early. I could tell each and every one of you now there are two ways you can go about this. You can take the high path or the low path. The high path is, is a much tougher road travel, but it's the right one. We embrace enough non natives into our culture, into our world. And show them that we are better than that. That we that we don't believe in failing people. We don't believe in breaking hearts. That we don't endorse selfishness. That we don't endure malice behavior. That we don't endorse throwing people away like human garbage and then not having a conscience about it. It's not our way. It never has been our way. It never will be our way. To be Native American is about family, about the earth, our mother, the earth, about the Creator, God, the Creator. 
Access to it's always been about family. Um, because Whether it be about blood or non-blood. Family comes through here, not what runs through here. But non-native has a love for our culture. And let them walk the right road. Give them that chance. As they come in, come to you honestly with an honest, healthy yearning to help. And it may change. Don't hurt them. Don't play them. And most definitely, don't do anything stupid. Like mistreating them. Spiritually, we are sick. And we need to cure ourselves. This is how we cure the sickness. We do, um, we do things that make the, that make the great spirit happy. We do things that, are, that, are, that make the world a better place. We take back our world, one non-native at a time, by winning their loyalty. This is a member of the voice of reason. Uh, uh, Aho. How are we sharing that? Uh, uh, 